Okay, so from selling onions and carrots and other produce in the brownstone market in St. Anne, to now serving as a college professor at Howard Community College, um, he's here joining us this morning. Professor Darren Johnson joins us from foreign, near foreign or far foreign? Near foreign, right, Prof? Actually, I'm right here in Jamaica. Oh, you're home? <laughs> oh, are you visiting or are you back? <laughs> Uh, I'm visiting. Okay. Morning, sir. Good to have you. Good morning, Neville, of course. And good to see you too again. Yeah. I was on um, before I defended, and now I'm back as Dr. Darren Johnson. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It has a nice ring to it. What a journey mm. you've been on, Doc. Tell us about those days when you were selling in the market during primary school, during high school, the stigma school. and everything else. But tell us how... How you, how you lived that part of your life, and then we'll move from there to see how things changed. Of course, certainly. So, um, you know, coming from Bonnil in Little Buxton, really humbling experience from a single uh, parent, also my mom, um, Selma Green. I know she's watching now um, from Baltimore. Uh, you know, hard work was all I knew. She worked with one of the best lawyers in Brownstone, the late Ernest Smith. And so um, just seeing her work, um, seeing the sacrifice she had to make, I decided that I, you know, had to make hard work, um, you know, what I do as well. And so, you know, I took it up on myself and um, went to Brownstone, Brownstone, and I started selling apples, American apples and onions and uh, tomatoes um, to, to people in the banks. And on a Saturday, I would go to Jamaica National and just seeing... Um, you know, those people over the bank, like our Dr. Ransford Davidson, Mary Barnes, uh, Miss Ramsey, that really inspired me. And I thought to myself, you know what, one day I could, you know, work, work just like this in a bank, you know, them nice suit and, and, and thing. So I, I, you know, I think I was a focused child and I also grew up in the church as well. Mm -hmm. So the church really um, helped to kind of bolster the individual I am today as well. I suspect, Professor, that uh, while you were doing all of that, you must have been ridiculed at school. That uh, why the boy they are selling and thing and thing. And how did you handle that? Yeah, I think um, for me, I was the kid who you know the term as inquisitive or enough, quote unquote. Um, so I think I always had a broad back, um, so to speak. I'm always the one who speaks up. So you know the, the criticisms would come. But I, I felt like um, I, I had a goal and, um, you know, no matter what they say, that wouldn't really stop me from, you know, go sell my market, sell at the market on a Saturday. Because when I come home on a Saturday, I have my $200. And that time, if you know, $200 is a lot of money. Yeah. I was able to go to the bank and put $50 down and save, save up and, you know, would go home. So the, the, for, for the new week, I would have my lunch money. When it was time to go back to school, I, I would buy, be able to buy my car key. I would be able to buy my shoes. And, um, you know, I, I, I just, I think I, I, I they, they have seen my mom uh, working real hard and she didn't find any excuse. I think that really helped to, 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 to keep me on guard. Tell us a little bit about your journey to professorship. You left here, um, about yeah. Gallimore. You had nine CSEC subjects. You later obtained mm -hmm. a teaching degree from Money Teachers College. But you went to the U.S., um, business administration at Monroe College, top of your class, first degree, but you refused to settle, says this article. You went on to Pace, mm -hmm. where you did a master's in human relations, and then you decided to pursue your doctoral studies in adult education. That's a lot. It's like you were so driven, you just never wanted yes. to stop. Yes, um, I think it's innate for me. Um, you know, education is my only way out. I didn't burn with no gold spoon, as I explained. So I knew I had to just work hard for it and get it done. Yes. And so um, I, and Money College, I know they're watching now because I spoke to Ms. Mm -hmm. Jacqueline Francis yesterday and she's like, oh, I'm going to put on the big screen in the TV. So hi, everybody at Money College. But yes, um, that's where it started. And I started teaching at Brownstone High School and my alma mater as well. I'm about not Gallimore High School and would have migrated to the States uh, where, I, where I did, um, I worked in, at, at that time, I thought I was going to be a nurse. Interesting. Um, so I, was, I was working as a CNA, nurse assistant yeah. in Maryland. And then um, some things happened and I had to kind of leave that alone and focus 
stick to the evil that I know, which was teaching. Yeah. And so I, I, you know, I taught in um, NYC public schools. I've taught in the charter schools. Um, and I've taught at all levels too. And then went over to Monroe, uh, did my bachelor's there, and um, went to Pace, did a master's as well, as you said, and um, started this EDD. Uh, this, this was a doctorate of education. Um, at the time, um, some things went down with my immigration status as well in the state, and I was stripped of my status. And so I had to stop that, but that wouldn't deter me. Uh, I think around March 2020, March, March 2020. 2020. Yes, yes. Uh, my, my best friend, and she's probably watching now, Dr. Tanisha Ingleton, um, she, you know, said to me, Darren, um, all right, you know, that happened, the, the delay, but go find, go find a PhD program. And luckily, I was able to do my research and um, found this uh, PhD program at North Central University that uh, pretty much I wrote an essay and did what I had to do. I got a scholarship, probably about a $20,000 scholarship. That's, that's a lot of money. Um, and, you know, I started I had to start from scratch. Wow. Um, with this PhD. How, long um, is, how long is a PhD program? Um, so typically a PhD program is anywhere from three to five years, but I completed mine in about three years. All right. I was one of the little MAGA ones on the front with Romy and Virgo when we <laughs> entered the All Together Sing competition. <laughs> you still singing? <laughs> Um, in my bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> uh, tell me about that. Tell me a little bit about the All Together thing. Um, how, what was that like? I, I suspect that was the first time you were on television and stuff. What was that like for you? Um, that and uh, school's challenge quiz. So again, I was always a very involved student um, in high school. I was head boy, um, but I sung in church. So I was part of the choir as well. So um, I sung on the choir uh, when we, I think we came second that year with um, Rossi's and another one. I don't remember who it was. Um, but yeah, we usually journey to TVG on a Thursday. I remember the burgers from um, Burger King. <laughs> <laughs> Big up Sabrina, you know. <laughs> oh my God. So Richard. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. But that, that, um, that for me, and, and, and I think I remember too, when I passed come, uh, GSAT, I, you know, was fussing and, um, you know, my mom was adam um, adamant that, listen, you're going to go to a Botnot Gallimore because it's a non-traditional high school. And I am glad um, she didn't change mm -hmm, or, mm -hmm. or, because she worked with people who could get me into your castle and all of that. My grade three, grade three teacher at the time, Miss Sanjay McFarlane, you know, she consoled me and she said, listen, um, I, and, and I got good grades too. So I was surprised why did I go to Botnot? But um, going to a Botnot made me realize that that was the best thing that ever happened to me. The exposure that they gave, the, the, the different things that they supported me with on my journey mm -hmm. really helped me. So no mistakes. I was, yeah, no mistakes yeah. along the way. So what's your word this morning, Prof, to the folks who have faced their own struggles and feel sometimes like the jinx? That's what you're going to say, no? Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, face their own challenges and feel like they want draw breaks because they, they can't get it done and they want to give up. Mm -hmm. Of course, stay focused, um, keep at it. Um, most importantly, if I, if I may, and I know they told me it's not a big thing to advertise, but um, from all of this, I've started a, a licensed employment agency here. I've been working with people um, here. It's at shop number four, Mom's Village Plaza, to um, get certified to go abroad, foreign workers to Canada, um, to the US. I help students. So, you know, I, I, I've been using that avenue as well to really continue the impact to help people as well to kind of realize their true potential um find scholarships uh and and, and just do it big yep. so for those who are watching stay focused keep going and um you know at the end of the day once you put in that hard work everything will will work itself as sim said i was going to ask the same question but i will end the interview by uh, quoting you and you just kind of said it. If you have a goal, just keep at it. Success requires consistency and action. Circumstances yeah. are going to come and act as a barrier, but you have uh, to have a made-up mind. That was what I learned while working in the market. The experience was humbling, and I think it helped to ground me mm. as an individual. Great mm -hmm. to see you, Professor Darren.
Um, fantastic to have you with us this morning. I'm very, very proud, very impressed. And I know all your friends, your family, the folks in, in Brownstone and in St. Mm -hmm. Anne must be And very, in Farin at Monroe. Yeah, very, very yeah, um, Farin, impressed. all over. Much love. Bonhill, Little Buxton, yeah. Turks and Cape. I've, I've never heard of Bonhill, by, by the way. I don't know if I would want to live in a place called Bonhill. Bonhill, because you don't want to get no bun unless it's Easter bun. I love you, my friend. Love <laughs> your professor. People come from Bonhill. Yeah. Of course. You're love, an example uh, yeah. of that. I love your professor. Stay safe and say hi to mommy and stuff for us. All right? All right. Will do. Thank Blessings. you so much. Yeah, man. Professor Darren Johnson. There you go. Coming up next. How about not Gallimore Sheffington School? Sheffington School. Oh. Like, yeah. All right. Coming up next, it's something to smile about. We are not hungry, but it's a, it's a food challenge. <laughs> Don't come. Oh, glad you know. <laughs>